Hey fellow hop killers, it's Dylan with the Hop Killer Brewery where we bring you the brews, reviews, and how to's. And in this video, this is episode number two of the Penguin Chillers Glycol Chiller 2 3rd Horsepower XL. We're going to plug it in for the first time ever since owning it, even though it's been almost a year since I've received it. Uh, we're going to fill it up and we're going to make sure it chills. So if you want to know how to set up your Penguin Chiller 2 3rd Horsepower XL Glycol Chiller, this is the video for you. So let's talk about what we're gonna use to fill this up. This is a seven gallon reservoir and they recommend a 35 to 40% glycol to distilled water mix. So let me show you the glycol that I'm gonna use. This is what I got at Tractor Supply. It's a uh, pharmacy grade, better than food grade. Uh, from what I've read, should work just as good and it's about $40 a gallon. And this is gonna use three of them. So it is kind of expensive on top of you buying the chiller. You're gonna have to buy the glycol. Uh, this size is a little bit bigger than most. So you could probably get away with less with a smaller chiller. Just follow the manufacturer's recommendation. So let's get this set up so you guys know what to do. So it just kicked on. We're gonna hold the set button. It's already preset to seven or 12, 28 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll just hold it there. Press set one more time to release. So. It's set for 28. I think after we let it sit for a while, it will uh, show the actual temperature. I know it's kind of hard to see that. It might be even hard to hear me with the fan because it's right here, I don't know, two feet away. Uh, at 83 degrees currently, and let's start a timer to see how long it takes to get down. It is 931. While this cools down, I'm gonna go ahead and take the screws little set screws that are on either side of this piece and that way let me take this off just hold it hold in with two little self-tapping screws that way we can take the uh, this pumps actually on so be careful there take this off and then we can figure out Oh, oh shit. Got that on camera at least. We're gonna go ahead and take the ones that we want off. And so they're just these little tabs. Uh, just be careful these edges aren't, uh, they're not crazy sharp, but they're definitely not, uh, they're, you can definitely cut yourself. And you can run your tubing through these while the lid is on. Would be nice if they included some, uh, some grommets so that when you rub the tubing, or when you have run the tubing through the hole, uh, this wouldn't over time maybe eat away at the vinyl tubing that I plan to use. So I'm gonna take out two here, and I'll take out two over here, and that way I can run it in and in and out. And then I'll have the power cords probably come through uh, these holes. So I'm gonna take these out and set it back. So we're about almost exactly 30 minutes, and we're at 28 degrees. So 30 minutes to chill six gallons in the reservoir to 28, not bad at all. A lot better than other units that I've used at least. All right, so I showed you how to set up the Penguin Chiller, two-third XL horsepower glycol chiller. Uh, let's go over some initial thoughts, uh, setup thoughts, and everything regarding the unit. Again, you guys didn't get to see it packaged, but this thing was packaged. Probably that could be hit by a tank and be good. Uh, packaging was awesome. Customer service was great. Uh, upon arrival, it was on a freight, so you got to be prepared for that. And then um, setting up was insanely easy. This thing has sat for, I think, seven to eight months now. Never plugged it in before until you guys saw it here on video. Um, it says it's a seven gallon reservoir. You guys saw the liquid level. That was only three gallons of glycol and three gallons of distilled water. It has these bulkheads where um, you know, the unit is fed into the coils and then it has the temperature bulkhead. So I didn't really want to go above that. I'm going to clarify that with uh, penguin chillers before the next video on use and go from there. But uh, super easy setup, uh, really, really high quality uh, build. To be honest, the casters work great. They're not too big. Uh, they're not, you know, they don't get stuck like the Blickman chiller one did. I couldn't even wheel the Blickman chiller one around. It comes 100% assembled. I mean, by the time you open it and you could have it up and running at two chilled temperature within an hour, which is pretty cool. Um, what else? What else do I not like about it? 
Um, it's big, but I mean, if you look at this, the capacity for this unit's really a lot. I mean, you can chill like two, three and a half barrel fermenters. It's amazing. Um, I'd be curious to see how you can fit, you know, eight pumps inside these coils, unless you're using the ones that I have, the small SS Brewtech ones. What else? What else? So they have these cutouts for all the tubing. I think if they were to include some sort of rubber grommet or hard plastic grommet where you can fit and uh, protect the edge for like say vinyl tubing that you're going to use to run your glycol, that would be you know something that they could do um, to better their unit for not much money at all. Um, it wasn't crazy loud, it was about as loud as the Blickman chiller that I had before. I'll get a decibel reading in a future video for sure. Um, I just had my garage door open and you know, got people outside, of course, mowing their lawn, pressure washing their cars when I'm trying to take a video. Um, what else? What else? Easy to use, super straightforward directions. I mean, it doesn't get any more simple than that. And, you know, it worked as directed. So, um, man, first impressions, 9 out of 10. I'd give it a 10 out of 10 if it had those grommets. This thing's definitely going to get ran through its paces over the course of the summer. Again, this is uh, unbiased, completely, you know, they don't see the videos before they're released. And uh, anything that comes about that I don't like or that's broken or that could be fixed or maybe that isn't good, uh, you guys will be the first to know. I have yet to see an in-depth review on the Penguin Chiller units out on the YouTube, particularly this one. Uh, but again, for you guys looking to learn how to set up your Penguin Chiller, this is the way. If you guys aren't like technologically savvy, if you guys just want a simple, easy, um, straightforward unit, this is it plug it in, fill up the reservoir, turn it on. It's already preset for 28 degrees Fahrenheit. It's easy to adjust if not. Uh, easy instructions. Within an hour, you could have your reservoir at temperature, ready to rock. Uh, and this is, you know, during a 70 to 80 degree day. It was 83 when I started and got down to 28 within 40 minutes. So uh, again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Easy setup. And I will see you guys on the next Penguin Chiller episode.